Okay, so um, I've done a bit of tweaking since my last video. Um, what I've essentially done is I have just flattened out the forehead a little bit. So if I look, it's a little flatter across the front. Um, in fact, I could do with flattening out the kind of upper forehead area as well. <laughs> So I'm just going to do that. Don't forget, you know, by using this scale tool, like I said, if I scale them together, if we look in the top view, you see how that edge is flattening out? So you just want to kind of do it a decent value, so it's a little flatter like that. Let me pull, pull one of those back a little bit, just to smooth out that... Um, new curve that I've just put in there. Also moving out that gradient because we don't want it to kind of snap too much. And that's looking much better. As you've probably noticed I've put in two spheres and that's all it is. It's just two spheres that I've created and I've placed them where the eye should be. Um, and later I'll kind of go in and tweak this a little bit because I want the sort of eyelid this sort of area here to wrap around this sphere because of course the eyeballs are round so you know I can tell right now that my model isn't quite correct because this should hug the sphere the eyeball uh, really tightly like that so just a bit of tweaking is um, necessary but again, I'm going to do that a little later because right now I want to focus on the nose, and the nose is, you know, one of the most difficult sort of areas of the the human face to create. So let's have a go. Let's see what we can do with it. I'm just going to adjust some sort of smaller areas. Okay, let's go for it. So again, I'm just going to kind of fill out this kind of area just here. Drag that down to about there. Go to target weld. And I want to target weld that to there. I'm going to pull that out to about there. And... See, I'm debating which edge is going to go where, to be honest. And I think um, what I'm going to have to do is there's nowhere for this kind of vertex to connect. So I'm going to have to put in a new edge running through here like this. So the way that I do that is I go to my edge tool, go down, uh, and this is the tool that I'm going to use, connect. So before I use connect, I need to select all the edges that are going up like this all the vertical lines across here so you can see what I've done there don't worry about the red line straight down the middle that's just because of the symmetry so all I've done is selected all these lines running down and I'm just gonna click connect and you see how it's just placed a new red well it appears red because it's selected but it's a it's created a new sort of edge in there don't worry if it looks a little close together, I will spread those out um, again, so that's not going to be much of a problem for me. And then I just want to continue to target world these things, you know, that vert just there. And again, just kind of have a look at what you know the shape of your edge is, and make sure that it's going okay. It's not um, distorted. It's not going the wrong way. Yeah. 
just trying to kind of smooth this uh, cheek area out a little bit because some of these edges, these points are a little bit too um, angled for my liking. So I was just trying to smooth those out a little bit. It looks a little better now. What I'm going to do next for the nose is I'm just going to control and select these three again. Just drag it down to about here. I'm just going to target weld this point there and target weld this point there. Again, if it's getting a bit confusing and you can't quite see through, then you can select the whole lot and just move it up. I mean, that, that's what I tend to do. So you want to have a look at where this kind of outer outer edge should be. So like that and that, that looks okay. Maybe pull that one in. Yeah, so you're kind of creating that nose, that nose shape just like that. And if she has a very narrow nose, um, which you can see from the reference, uh, from the front view, but from the side, you know, we are going to be able to see those nostrils. So, you know, there's a bit of an issue because we need to put in a new kind of edge running through here as well. The reason for that is because, you know, we don't have the points there to kind of curve this off. You could quite easily, in fact, just kind of drag these forward a little bit and pull them up. So then it creates a kind of um, a nice, well, it's not really that nice because it's quite pointy. But, you know, for now it's okay, it's good enough. It's good enough. Like an area which kind of represents uh, the top of the nostril. Okay, from that stage, um, what we need to do is kind of create the inside of the nose just here. So the way that we can do that is we kind of need to go into our, our perspective view from this stage and just select this area just here. And, you know, there's a bit of an issue here. You know, you can see straight away that the angle needs to kind of change it, it needs to go from here to here and that's way too drastic it's just way too too drastic um, so we're going to kind of fix that as we go along <laughs> 